How's it going, guys? Let's have a quick discussion on uh, the potential main event for UFC 219. I got one for you, and if you guys have seen my thumbnail, you know who it is. So, UFC 216, it is this Saturday. It is headlined by Kevin Lee versus Tony Ferguson for the interim title. It's, it, is, it is essentially a number one title shot to Conor McGregor. And in the co main, we have Demetrius Johnson versus Ray Borg. The um, DJ is looking to set history, make history versus uh, Ray Borg for 11 consecutive title defense. And then we move on to uh, UFC 217, which is packed, packed and loaded from uh, Madison Square Garden. Uh, we got the return of uh, George St. Pierre versus Michael Bispain. And George St. Pierre is going to attempt to be the only the fourth man in UFC history to have. Um, Two title and two different weight class, and then we have um Joanna John J Chuck, and then we have a DJ versus uh Cody Garbrandt, and two eighteen we got Max Holloway versus Frank Eckert. Oh my goodness, that is that is huge in so so many ways. But then UFC two nineteen December thirtieth, and um it is their end of the year card, and as of right now we haven't really heard anything about it, have we? Yes, we have, but um, but when I said that, I, I mean like the potential main event for the potential main event for UFC 219. That's what I meant. I realized there's been um a few cards that have been released. I just can't rem remember right now. So I asked myself, me as a fight fan, who would who would I like to see? And the answer to that question is, for the end of the year card for the main event. I would like to see Chris Cyborg take on Holly Holmes. Okay, guys, that is to me that is the, that is the only, the only um, logical choice. That is the only fight that's available. You could say that there's some um, Stipe, but he's not coming back anytime soon. Cause the last time I heard, the last time that the news to me is that even from Stipe himself, he's not happy with his pay, and his team, his management team, and the UFC, they are trying to come come up with um with a resolution. And as of right now, that is, I realize it's just a bit over two months away, so anything could happen. But I don't think that's well. Okay, why not? Ha why not ha have them both? Um, Stipe defend his title against. I have no idea. It's just the fact that I don't know who's available. And then in the coming event, we have Chris Cyborg versus Ho Ho Holly Holm. Because Chris Cyborg, um, she just. We uh, resign a new contract with UFC because her contract expired essentially this month, and the rumor is that she has resigned with a different contract. But her contract is slightly different. It's not per fight. It it have um, a timeline. She must compete X amount within this timeline, and if she does not, then her contract is um, essentially expired, and she will get paid out X amount. And yeah, and so. Contracts then, and if you guys, if you guys were wondering how how do I know this, I just read a lot of news and article, and I listen. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, and it's came it's coming from like her mouth, her management, and all the media. Or oh, they would just pay attention to it, and I just piece it all together. And um, I realized that Holly Holm, she said that she has no problem fighting Chris Cyborg, but however, the price the price must be right. And. I just cannot. I can't rem remember who's um Holly's Holly Holly Holmes uh man management team right now. I'm thinking like first round ma management, but I might be wrong in that one. I realized that she she has the, t the same group as as John Jones and these guys are these guys and girls. They are, they are the best at what they do. And the other thing is that the other incentive for Holly Holly to accept this fight is that if she wins, she will be the first female to have um two title in two different weight class. Okay, so that is um setting history on its own. So yeah, that should be an intriguing fight for UFC 219. Okay, guys, so that's uh my quick thought on this situation on the potential fight of or potential two championship fight for UFC 219. Number one, the return of Stipe versus I don't know, I cannot think of it right now. Maybe for Fur 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 if he wins um, this weekend, 
and the other is um, Chris Cyborg versus Holly Holm. Okay, guys. Um, thank you very much for listening. So that's my quick thought on this, on the potential um fight, on the potential headliner, and cool headliner. If you have not, please um comment, rate, and subscribe. And before I go, I just I just want to tell you guys that I upload three to four videos on a daily basis. So um, subscribe, join the conversation. I would love to hear from you guys. And take care. I will talk to you soon. Peace.